NBC 4's Conan Nolan, who's been live in the newsroom all morning long following the latest developments. Conan. Well, we have a member of Congress with us from Washington, Adam Schiff, representative from Burbank and a senior member of the House Intelligence Committee. Members of Congress being uh, briefed on this. Congressman, thank you for taking the time. Uh, let me, let me ask best. you first off, from what we understand, this was a plane at about 30,000 feet. Uh, it would take sophisticated weaponry to bring it down. It would take sophisticated radar and a, and a surface-to-air missile. Can you tell us, do you know if the separatist rebels, the pro-Russian rebels in the eastern Ukraine, have access to that kind of weaponry? Well, there have been public reports, which is really all I can comment on, that they may have gotten access to exactly that kind of system, obviously from Russia. Uh, and it's not uh, alone enough to have the system. You have to have the knowledge to operate it. And it's hard for me to imagine that a ragtag band of separatists, as Moscow would like to characterize them, could do this. They would really need the help of the, the Russian military. And as you know, the separatists have been shooting down Ukrainian planes. If this plane was shot down, the logical candidate are the separatists. And, and those may be Russian citizens or they may be uh, Ukrainian separatists. But it's, I think, extraordinarily unlikely that the Ukrainian military itself would have shot down a passenger plane. What's going to be the offshoot of this? Of course, the White House has, has started we, just recently with sanctions against Russia for its aggressive posture on the eastern Ukraine border. What do you, what do you think will, will, will happen as a result of this? Well, you know, of course, we still don't know yet that the plane was shot down. Uh, it may have been brought down by an, ex an explosive on board, completely unrelated to the Ukraine conflict, or it could have been uh, yet a, mal mal a malfunction of the aircraft. But if it was shot down, then I think that is going to galvanize Europe uh, to joining the United States with much stronger sanctions, uh, because this now is a very direct threat to Europe. Uh, it, I think, has always been a threat to Europe, but the fact that a civilian airliner uh, originating within Europe was shot down uh, as a result of this conflict will really uh, cause your force Europe to step up potentially with, uh, with very broad sanctions against Russia, because there's just no way that this can happen uh, without uh, Russian complicity, very heavy complicity. Do you, do you know, State Department has yet to say, but do you know if there are any Americans on board? Uh, that I don't know. We haven't gotten uh, really any uh, concrete information yet. I just reached out to the Intelligence commu Committee. Uh, we have yet to be uh, briefed and brought in on this. The other thing I'll say, Conan, uh, is I would fully expect, given our interest in what's going on, on along the Russian-Ukrainian border, uh, that we should be able to go back and find out whether this plane was shot down. I think we're going to find that we have the capability of determining that. It won't necessarily tell us who shot it down, but, uh, but we should be able to determine, I, I hope, within fairly short order, just what happened to this plane. Congressman Adam Schiff, Democrat of Burbank, member of the House Intelligence Committee, thank you very much for joining us.